guys, Knife Detector here. And those of you that know, know what this is. This is a Victorinox Cyber Tool. Yes, boys and girls, gentlemen and ladies, this is a Cyber Tool. While you gaze at this Cyber Tool, I'm going to tell you how I got it and uh, give you a little bit of background. I've been wanting to buy one of these for several years. And, and recently, if you know my videos and if you've gone back and seen some of my videos, you'll know that I made my brother a knife sheath and I made my brother a knife sheath um, I was gonna give it to him as a gift uh, for a I believe it's a Navy uh, pilot survival knife um, although uh, from one of my other viewers viewers I learned that it might be a not necessarily Navy but it might belong to one of the other armed forces and um, because it's virtually identical but anyhow I digress um, I wanted to give it to him as a gift, but my brother wouldn't have it. He wanted to make a trade with me. Uh, my brother was in the Marines, and he said, let me give you a knife as a gift. So I'm like, ah, you don't really have to. And then he showed me one. I'm like, ah, I got one of those. And then he showed me this one, and then he's like, I'm like, man, I've been wanting one of those for like several years, and I just never gotten around to buy it. And he gifted it to me. And uh, it's a Victorinox Cyber Tool. And I always thought this knife was so cool because of all the amenities it has. First of all, I'm a sucker for any Victorinox knife that has the pliers because those pliers are fantastic uh, grooming tools. Uh, I've never used it uh, in a mechanic form, like if I'm uh, trying to tighten or loosen the the nut on a battery uh, battery cable uh, or something like that to take off a battery cable or replace a battery or something like that on a car. I don't think this would do it, but... Um, they're excellent for pulling facial hair. They're like the best tweezers you're ever going to get, guys, honestly, or girls. Uh, I'm an equal opportunity plucker. But anyway, this knife is gorgeous. Check this out. First of all, ruby red scales. Ruby red scales. I mean, he's giving this to me used, but it looks brand new. Ruby red scales. Look at that. Victorinox. We got that little wrench there. And we're going to go over what that wrench is for. First of all, what I have done here by opening all the blades, that is a no-no. You don't do that with a Victorinox because you could cut yourself while you're trying to manhandle this thing. Okay? But I'm going to close them one by one. Let's get rid of the regulars. You got your flathead screwdriver and cap lifter. You got your can opener and small flathead. You got your main blade. Standard main blade right there. Officer Suisse. Very nice. We're going to close that so I don't cut myself. This one also happens to have the scissors, and you guys know the scissors on the Victorinox knife are legendary. So we're going to carefully close those without cutting ourselves, right? And then you've got the small blade, which I have cut myself on the small blade of a Victorinox knife so many times. And then let's check out these little guys before we go any further. Of course, this one has a pin, guys. If you happen to be needing a pin, there you go, right there. And I tried it. It works just great. Thank you, bro. Really loving this knife. Here we have a toothpick right there. And yes, this looks like it's had a little bit of use, unless it's made that way. Check that out. It's got like a little twist in the end. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Can you focus on that? Huh. I don't know if that's the way it's made, but it's got a little curve. And if it is made that way specifically, that's kind of genius to help you get the stuff out of your teeth. Gosh, bro, I wonder if you've used this toothpick. You know, should I wash it? Let me know. Okay, now check this out. Here we have the tweezers. Of course, your standard tweezers. Honestly, I never like these very much, to be honest with you. If you got the pliers, that just kicks butt. You don't need the tweezers. And of course, these pliers are just fantastic. I mean, the Victorinox pliers, they're just perfect for grooming and small jobs, small jobs. But I love these things. They're really great. Let's close them. And of course, we got our corkscrew. We got the tiny little... Uh, screwdriver there for your glasses you want to tighten that of course you got the parcel hook right here uh, let's check out the awl we got an awl it's a sharp awl and this also has the little eyelet for the sewing very nice I like that especially since I make things with leather sometimes check this out look at these little tools there are different sizes that you might actually use to disassemble a knife as well. Some of those modern flipper knives or, lo or uh, liner lock knives. Check it out. We have a flathead there too. Let's pull the flathead out. 
Pulling the flat head out, we see we also have a Phillips inside. That's a very good size that you can use with a lot of things. It starts to get bigger as it gets higher. So you can use it for small Phillips screws and then some progressively bigger ones. Very nice. Insert that in there. And then, uh, sorry about that. I'm trying to see what I'm doing. And then this one is not double-sided. Wouldn't it be terrible if I drop one of these bits and it fell in the sink? I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. <clears throat> this one is double-sided. See that? Really cool. Okay, and then you open it like this, and you can take out what you need. I'm going to close that up. And you were to, if you were to use this, you would take one of these, and then you'd put it in here, like so, in the wrench. Is it magnetic? No, it's not magnetic. It slides right off. So you got to be careful not to use these. This snaps open. And let me tell you, this feels really robust. Like, this will get the job done. It feels really robust. This this thick right here. So this doesn't feel like it's going to break when you use it. You just have to be careful not to let these suckers fall down and you lose them. Because then you might have to order some more from Victorinox or on some aftermarket ones. Okay? Put that back in. Let's close this little guy right here. This has a half stop, believe it or not. It has a half stop, which I find uh, quite interesting that it has a half stop. And it snaps closed. Let's see that snap again, man. That's a good snap. Half stop. Cool. Very nice. This is how thick it is. How many layers do we see here? We see uno... Is that two or is that one layer together? I'm gonna call it one layer only because it's so thick because of the wrench. So let's say one, two, three, four, five. This is a thick five layer, guys. Really thick five layer. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. As if this were not enough, it came with this cool sheath that my bro gave me too. Um, I've used it a couple times. Looks like he used it a couple times too. And uh, it comes with a sharpener. This is a cool little diamond sharpener right here very nice i like it a lot so i want to say thank you bro thank you so much for that you know uh interesting story about this i didn't get to finish telling you i made that knife sheet for my bro and then what does my bro do he gives it a good tug to make sure it's strong and one of the rivets just snapped off and i thought i had heard it but he was really quick with his hands and he snapped it back in so when i took a look everything looks like it was in place and But when I left, something was bothering me, so I called him. I go, bro, was it my imagination, or did I hear a rivet snap when you pulled it? And then he's like, yeah, a rivet snapped. I didn't want to tell you. I don't want you to feel bad. And I'm like, don't worry about it. Let me pick it up from you, and I will fix it. So then I fixed it and brought it back to him as soon as I could. Thing is, you know, I did not want it to fail him when he was using it out there on the ranch. And I hope he's getting some use out of it, because he put a very heavy heavy uh, Navy uh, survival pilot knife in that thing. And I knew that if it wasn't firm, that he might end up losing it. And I don't want him to lose it. But anyway, um, that's this knife right here. And that's the story. My bro gave it to me. And because my bro gave it to me, you know, I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to probably use it sparingly, you know. But uh, it will be used, just like all of my knives. They will be used. So until then, guys, this is the Knife Detector. Wishing you well. Uh, hoping that you're going to stay safe. Uh, asking you to please keep your knives sharp, but keep your wits even sharper, my friends.